Andrew of Rocket to the Moon. Hey. What's up? Alright, so a lot of your songs are from on your side, so I'm grateful to all of your EP, especially on the Lonely Night, which has a much more bluesier rock and roll feel and almost still a bunch of alternative country. So, what were some of your main influences? Um, well, as you may or not, may not know, I uh, joined the band a little later, yeah. so I wasn't really involved in the writing of the songs, but I can tell you that Nick and Justin, they love pop country, real country in general, so it definitely influenced their style of writing. Um, and I think the process of writing the songs on the album was a little different than the EP as well. Um, it was more of a cohesive collaboration between Nick and Justin, whereas before the EP it was like, it was just Nick, uh, it was Nick and Justin. Um, and on this one they kind of let their influences uh, show through a little more, I think, you know? They were just writing like what they wanted to write. Uh, I think that's kind of what explains it. What was it like working with Matt Squire? Did he bring anything new to the table with regards to the new sound? And do you enjoy the album? Yeah, yeah, I love Matt Squire. He's a really close friend of mine. I've known him for six years now, maybe, maybe seven years actually, yeah, probably seven years. Um, he produced both of my old band's albums. Um, working with him is amazing. He's just like, he's really good at bringing out what's best in the band. He doesn't try and force things down your throat. Um, he doesn't, from my experience, he doesn't say like, that part sucks, I'm gonna write a part to replace it. He'll say, that part sucks, come up with something better, you have 10 minutes, you know, like that, who like puts you on the spot, puts you to the test, makes you work hard, you know, he's a super talented guy, great dudes, can't say enough good things about him. Honestly. Yeah. And then, how did your collaboration with Brandon of ILF come about? That came about because we were on tour with them and we loved them. And uh, we were just like, man, we love Brandon's voice so much, it's so unique. Like, I wish we could have him sing on our record. Like, is there anything that makes sense? And then we thought, oh, sometimes it could be cool because it's got kind of like a, I don't know, just more of a, I don't know what right vibe would be. It's like, I don't know, more electronic, I guess, you know, a little more Google oriented. It's like, it's, I think the song's perfect, you know, it just kind of felt right. So we were like, you know, we just asked him, no scope, and he said, yeah, so that's how that happened. Uh, what stock are you most excited to play on this tour? And what has been the best crowd so far? The best crowd was last night, actually, in Anaheim. Um, I'm stoked because we're playing Baby Dad's for the first time on this tour. So, yeah, and that's. The crowd is super loud on that one. Hopefully they will be tonight too. Um, I love playing that song. And Give a Damn is probably my favorite song to play too. Uh, I wish we were playing On a Lonely Night and On Your Side. I love both of those songs, but those are going to be more songs we play, I think, on our headlining tour when we have more have space. Play. Eventually. Like, I just mean, like, in general. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. We don't have one plan or anything. I wish we did. But, um, <clears throat> eventually. And then you're letting your fans take part in your new video, like, the can you any hints about what the video is going to be about? Uh, it's going to be cool. How's that for a hint? No, I don't want to spoil anything. I don't know. It's, uh, it's going to be fun. It's going to be, uh, it's going to be a story. It's going to be cinematic. That's all I can say. Yeah, it's going to be fun. <laughs> and then if you could have one person come to your show who you didn't know, who wasn't a fan, who would it be? Man. Uh, Tom Petty. I would want Tom Petty to come see our band play. Or Dave Grohl. One of the two. I'd want Dave Grohl to come and watch me play drums and say, man, you were awesome. And then I would just die on the spot. Pretty cool. I've never listened to an Octopus before. Which song would you want to Dakota. Because that was the first song I heard that got me excited about joining the band. I was like, I heard that song. I was like, man, this is awesome. Question. So Emily wants to know what inspired the song on Lonely Night and how you got involved with it. Oh, um, that's a good question. Um, I didn't write the song, so it's I can't like, really tell you. Like, like, um, not really. People waiting. Um, I think that's more of a question for Justin. I think like. No, I always get kind of like a like a Brighton vibe when I listen to that. I feel like it's very Justin, you know, like it shines through like the guitar playing and stuff, uh, which we're all big fans of naturally. Um, Caitlin, I think the guys met Caitlin 
Drew, the old manager of the band. <coughs> um, she's from Australia. She's really talented. And, uh, we needed a female vocalist for it, and they left her voice, so I reached out. She was into it. Did it? Oh, that's kind of how that happened. A little cross continent thing happened, you know. Kaylee wants to know how'd you like touring with Cobra Starship last night? Cobra was fun. They're fun dudes to hang out with. Rylan, the uh, guitar player, is uh, in the top two funniest people I've ever met in my life. He's probably tied for first. I, I've never really met anybody like him. Like, he's just amazing. Um, and I've known those guys again for years. My old band were with them. Nate, uh, the drummer, I've known for a really long time. He's a good friend. And he's uh, a really fun people. It's really. But no, I'm, I'm stoked for their success, you know, they deserve it. I mean, everybody knows Gabe's been out of a long time. I was a huge Midtown fan, so, you know, great group of people, so I'm, I'm stoked for them. And then Tara wants to know, what's your favorite song to play live? My favorite song to play live? Oh, man. It's actually one we're not playing on this tour, as if only they knew. That's my favorite song to play live. Um, it's just really, like... I don't know, upbeat, rocking song, and I, I tend to like when I'm feeling a little flashy, I do a little Tommy Lee like stick bounce off the snare drum and try and do that because I've always wanted to be able to do that in the song, and it's it has the pause in it where I can do that, and it's a long enough pause where if I drop my stick, I can get another one. So that's why I like that's just like a little personal uh, thing though. That song's for that and Dakota. Yeah. And then Lily wants to know how it feels to have first full length out and you have yeah, any songs coming out? Um, yeah, it feels amazing to have a full length record out. Um, it's just, I don't know, it's cool to have like an actual album, you know, it's not an EP, it's like a full, complete work, you know, it's, uh, it's cool to be able to tell people they can go buy it at Target. My mom was telling like my family members and her friends and people at her yoga class that they can go buy it at Target and stuff, you know. Um, that's, that's, it's pretty cool. Um, what was the second part of that question? Do you have any new songs coming out? Oh, new songs coming out. Well, we did, we did some pretty cool recordings with uh, these great girls called the Lovely Sisters. They're now called Larkin Pope. Um, we collaborated and did some new versions of our songs. And we did a cover, too, uh, which is going to be pretty awesome. I'm, I'm excited about it. So I don't know when or where they're coming out. They'll be out probably sometime this year. And uh, I think people will like it a lot. Lesson wants to know, are all your songs based off of real No, they're not. Um, I think Nick and Justin, they both kind of like to imagine hypothetical scenarios in their mind and put themselves in someone else's shoes and write from that perspective. Um, the, you know, some of them I know are inspired by real events and things like that, but you know, for the most part they want to write stuff that rings true and stuff that people can relate to and they like to write from different perspectives. So, you know. Some of it's <laughs> fictionalized. And lastly, tell anyone who hasn't listened to your band before, why you should check out Walking to the Because we're awesome and uh, we have a great time doing what we do, and our songs are catchy, they're fun, and uh, four good looking dudes, what can I say, you know? Come check out a show. That's, I think we're a really fun live band, and that's why people should give us a chance. You know? so, uh,